What's going on guys, Asian Guy here, bringing you pretty huge news, we are finally getting a new invasion raid. And as you can see to my left hand side or right hand side, whichever way around it is on your screen, I'm going to guess it's left hand side, Invasion Young Garb. We're finally getting him, there's been so much speculation about when are we going to get a Young Garb Legend or Invasion raid and finally it's come. Now I'm gonna take a wild guess and say he's probably Free Spirit Powerhouse or Fighter Powerhouse and either way I think he's lost, he's gonna do something for one of the Luffy's whether it's Time Skip Luffy or G4 Luffy that is my guess or maybe even Akainu as well but being real I'm gonna say he's going to be pretty damn awesome looking at the way things have power creeped I mean I don't want to jinx it because let's be real Invasion Cavendish for how tedious he is. He's kind of lackluster and you know, you've got Int Dofi, you've got the normal Dex Dofi, you've got Dex Luchi and of course the new Strength Mihawk which are also all orb boosters that do multiple things unlike Invasion Cavendish who just does the 2.25 orb boost. So while 2.25 orb boost is great, I mean, you know, the new Strength Mihawk absolutely blows that Cavendish out of the water. But having said that, I really hope this Young Garp is going to be something insane. This does give credit to the possibility that we're still going to get a Legend Young Garp. I mean, it's not impossible. All the invasions have been socketable units for Legends. So Young Whitebeard, Sockets, Whitebeard, Cavendish, Invasion Cavendish, Sockets, Legend Cavendish. So this could possibly mean we are going to get a Legend Garp. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long time coming, that's all I can say. Now he's going to be after Colosseum. Chaos Colosseums only will get you the chance to fight against this Garp. And when he does come, I guarantee you it's going to be something very, very annoying. He's either going to have annoying barriers or he's going to do Orb Seal. Something that will probably require a little bit of assistance from Limit Break. And most likely the new Strength Mihawk. But we'll see guys, we'll see. We also have Sicilian. Sicilian's going to be the new Chaos Colosseum. I don't know. I don't know what he's going to do. I like the artwork. Sicilian is a pretty cool guy. So let's hope he's a very useful unit. Probably going to be useful for Garth as well. And guys, a lot of people are still not aware of this. But if you look at the Ray shop now, there is this Sanji currently available. This Sanji is only worth 50 Rayleigh points. He comes max skill. So definitely worth just getting yourself one. Having said that, you can buy infinite amounts because he's basically there to socket your Sanjis. I would say that if you have under 25,000 Rayleigh points, do not buy that many Sanjis because it's kind of a bait. It's very cheap, but then you keep buying and buying and buying, trying to socket all your Sanjis, and before you know it, you have no Rayleigh points for maybe a new really strong unit or a new ship or something like that. So please be careful when you are spending Rayleigh points on the Sanji, but he is basically free sockets for the good Sanjis that you do have. Having said that guys, good stuff on Japan right now. Invasion, Young Rayleigh, not Invasion, sorry, Raid Young Rayleigh. On the Reddit Discord, there is some speculation that he might be a global exclusive, which is a little bit of a letdown if it's true. His unit number is 5010. And on Japan, I believe it only goes up to around 3,000. Now, the other 5,000 units were supposedly reskinned log units, which never came to Japan and only to global. So the speculation is because he's in the 5,000s, it's an exclusive global unit. Let me know what you guys think about that. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys are hyped for the potential Legend Garp and the guaranteed Invasion Garp 2. Thank you guys for watching. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Goodbye.